G'day ladies and gentlemen, I'm just some Aussie gamer and welcome back to Democracy 4. This is our Australia playthrough. So, we're about halfway through our second term of government. This is a coalition government, which means we have to work with the other team. So far that's been okay. They've thrown a few interesting offers at us that we've declined every single one because it's basically uh, not been in the best interests of the people of the country. As you can see by the state of the country in the quarterly report, the GDP is good, health is good, but it's declined slightly. Education, brilliant. Unemployment, going in the right direction. Crime is almost non-existent, but our biggest issue is poverty. So, I'm not exactly 100% sure how to sort that out, but I'm going to have a look at the uh, policies and see. Now, I'm pretty sure in the last video I read about the fact that we are leaving the union. Uh, don't know exactly what that means in Australia. I'm guessing we're not the Commonwealth of Australia anymore. We're now the Republic of Australia which means I'm no longer Prime Minister, I'm President. I don't really give a fuck. You know, I'm in charge of making the country a better place. It doesn't matter what fuck will you give me. Um, yeah, and this was the stupid uh, proposal that they wanted to throw, which is to reduce the legalised sex work from 100% to 17%, which will affect the GDP. Now, I'm just interested to know why did health take a decline... Right. It's so not really any information as to why health took a decline. So, what I'll do is, as I said, we're going to look at and see what sort of uh, things we can do to help with poverty. So, we can probably do rent controls. Now, I don't want to put a huge amount of rent controls in, but just enough to assist with uh, keeping poverty under control. So a low rent control, 6.33 million to be spent. I also, I don't want to do this, but I need to do something about our income. So I'm going to take that all the way up to where it's allowed to go and I'm going to leave it at that and see what happens with our newly strong GDP and a slightly higher tax income. Now keeping in mind that I had that at 50% when I first started, well I didn't have it at 50%, it was at 50% when I first started. I dropped it back to 33, now I'm bringing it up to 41 and we'll keep playing with it until we get the right, uh, what we want basically because I need to start working on that debt. And with the amount of things I'm providing for the benefit of the people of this country, I need to ask them to spend some sort of tax. So, as much as I don't want to, unfortunately that's the situation. Now, doing that has completely killed my political capital and probably increased poverty. Sounds like a normal government to me. Yep. That's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I knew that would uh, piss them off, but the budget deficit is now uh, in a better place. So, yeah. Now, the technological advantage, that's a great thing. We will keep funding that. Poverty is down. Crime is down. The gig economy is taking off. Um, not exactly sure where I stand on that because it lacks job security, but it also means that a significant uh, number, sorry, significantly more number of people in the population are employed. So I'll just keep an eye on that and make sure that it doesn't uh, hurt people too much because I obviously don't want that. So there is a 
Disguised employment law, there has been a substantial rise in the number of zero-hour gig economy businesses such as taxi apps in recent years, and the law has failed to catch up. Some campaigners say that this is disguised employment, designed to avoid providing holiday or sick pay to employees, and that the companies need to be treated as regular employees. No, I'm just going to leave the current regulations alone, because I do want some sort of a free market. Especially with the amount of funding I have poured into people being able to open their own businesses. You know? Yeah. Alright. So yes, voters are pissed off with me because I increased the tax rate. And I get it. I get that. And they're probably also annoyed because corporation tax is sweet f*** all. So, what was I always just, I was doing stuff to do with poverty. So, in the previous one, we implemented rent controls. In this one, we will start with some state housing. Again, minimum... Huh. That increases the level of poverty? Okay, I'm going to implement it at the lowest possible uh, point and just see exactly what happens. If that's increasing poverty, obviously I uh, don't want that. But somehow or other, by me implementing state housing at a cost of zero, I'm making an income. So that's interesting. Very, very interesting. My god, that used all of my political capital. Oh shit. All right, let's make a few people happy. This is going to actually, this is going to piss off the environmentalists. Oh, I can't cancel the policy because it costs one political capital. But I can do that. And does that, oh, my income was, never mind, I don't want to do that. That's reducing income. I need to make some sort of income here. Right, that was two very quick turns of government. Um, the global economy is in a recession. This is having a negative effect on our GDP. Really? I can't see that. Our GDP is sky bloody high. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, um, they're full of shit there. Animal testing. Yes, of course. We need to ban that. Like, yeah. That's, that's just something you don't do. So our popularity is now down to 59%, probably because we smashed people with some tax. Can't have it both ways. You know? M much as I would love, love to have 0% tax and give everybody everything. It's just not the way the world works, unfortunately. So I'm going to also implement food stamps and I'm going to implement that at the lowest possible as well. I just want to see what sort of difference that makes at the lowest possible. Again, these things are interchangeable. The only reason I'm implementing them at such low amounts is because every other part of our economy is in such, and uh, our quarterly report is in such a good position except for poverty. I'm hoping that just with that little bit of extra help that the people who still are falling behind now have that extra where they're no longer falling behind. That's the general aim. Whether or not that is a thing that occurs, I'm not sure. Now, science funding. Bang. Let's go. Let's fund that scientific research, you know? So, who, no, nobody really hates us except the religious and the trade unionists, which is interesting because basically everyone's employed and I, if I'm not mistaken, am making a decent amount of money. What manifestos, so human development, then that's fine. That will uh, go up. 
because I've just started implementing science things and that's going to help the human development. The secularity of education, I can do that. Fine. So I've got uh, human development by 25%. It's got to go up another 10% in four turns. Mm, so that's a year. That's going to be interesting. Cutting poverty. Current 37%, target 30%. So I need to cut it by another 7%. So I need to monitor that over the next, uh, yeah, okay. And yeah, so secularity of education, I can do that uh, next turn, basically, just to, you know. Uh, I'm definitely reducing the deficit. It's back down to 13.82 billion. When I started, it was 10 billion. So I've definitely added to the debt, but the general position of the country and the people of the country is much, much better. One political capital, it's not worth me... Uh, doing anything with that I don't believe I'll bugger it let's give uh, parents free parenting classes let's 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 do that so oh there we go we have uh, poachers that have been convicted that's fine Poaching is a activity, sorry, the poaching activity, I should say, is a symptom of poverty in our society and it would, would it not be better to eliminate the root cause? Well, I'm trying, but it takes a few turns. So, like, mm, you know? I still love it how they're telling me that the global economy is in a recession and that's having a negative effect on our GDP. Are you, are you, are you f***ing looking at our GDP, guys? Like, hello? Can you not see... It is basically as high as it will go. Now, why are we going to have a problem with multinational tax evasion? Corporation tax is low, sales tax is low, and technology is high. So, why are people trying to evade tax if that's the case? Doesn't make any bloody sense. Okay, what's the... <laughs> Why would I want to cancel the Youth Politics Council? It educates the youth in politics so that they know what's going on in their country. They know whether people are being corrupt, whether it's good for the good of their people in the country, whether it's bad, whether it's, you know... No, I will not... I know it's 11 political capital, but I'm not accepting that offer because, like, why would you? As the election draws near, okay, so socialists are happy, capitalists are relatively happy, the retired are happy, the liberals are okay, trade unionists, they aren't happy, the self-employed are pretty good, the wealthy, mm. You see, the thing is, I'm tempted to make a speech to the wealthy because I want everyone in the country to eventually be wealthy. Yeah, so the youth are still bloody unhappy with me. It's interesting. And parents are not exactly thrilled with me either. You know what? Hmm. Let's, uh... Secularity of education. Oh, damn, this is expensive! Okay. I might have left it a little bit too late to complete that manifesto. Not gonna lie. But there goes nine political capital. For bang. Um. Sure. I mean, probably somebody's gonna get badly affected by it in the future, but it costs no political capital and very little money, and it gets people into work. So... As far as I'm concerned, it's not a losing situation. Right, next turn. Hey, we are flying through this. I need to calm. I need to calm down. The private space industry is growing noticeably in this country. Well, gee, it's amazing what happens when you are uh, invest in science. Who'd have thunk? Good. Um, I already have a single-use plastic bag ban in so select that because it's already a policy 
Now we're going to have a problem with illegal immigration again. Why? We solved it. Damn. So the opposition party has more members. But I get the feeling that we're more popular. Um, not yet. Yeah, well, I understand why I have a minus 3% in trustworthiness. I do. Because I backflipped on our tax cut. Fucking, what's her name? Hello? Oh, you sh Okay, well, it doesn't tell me what her name is because it seems to think I'm clicking on that. Anyway, let's uh, just bump up the secularity of education again and smash through another nine political capital. But don't worry, we've got four to play with. A welfare fraud department. That's going to piss off the poor and the compassionate, but it's going to... Yep, sure. Because, you know, nobody should be needing to commit welfare fraud in this country eventually, because everybody will be good. In a very good position. Next turn. I am going through this so quickly. Free school meals. You know what? I'm pretty okay with that. And that's going to massively help poverty. So let's go. It's only 378.5 million. Yes, please. Let us let us do that. Housing expansion. Now. Hmm. So I don't want to be in a situation where House prices raise so much faster than earnings that people end up in the shit. So, I'm going to relax the planning law and that's going to piss off the farmers, the environmentalists. It's going to reduce the real estate bubble, which is probably going to piss off the wealthy. But it's going to make our GDP middle income and capitalists happier. So, you know. Um, why is, why is human development struggling? That is what I would like to know. Why is it struggling? Ah, yes. Cool. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, that's not even a thing. Sweet. Stop lagging, gang. Two political capital, hey? Hmm. Does that mean that the election is as soon as I click the next or if I got one more turn to Where's my popularity at? Seventy percent. So I'm guaranteed to win. Basically. Alright, that's up at the absolute maximum. That will help with human development, so let's increase that. That gets rid of the two political capital that I had sitting there. Let's go to the next turn. What's the deal? Are we we're going to the fuck election? Of course we are. Okay, well. I guess we guess we better get this count underway. I know I absolutely raced through that uh, period of 18 months, but uh, let's let's just do it. Let's do it. I think we're going to win this, and it's not going to be a bloody coalition this time. Seventy-three percent of the vote. Damn. So changes. Ah, look at the 
Look at the health and the lifespan, the gender equality, like... Crime. 55% less. The productivity. 43% up, you know, like, wow! Um, you can f and you can f the rest of you seem, um, pretty happy. So, yeah, right. Tax, tax, tax. Oh, you've got the most f experience, but you hate me. No one, no one is friggin' experienced in tax. Fuck. You know what? Um, Nicholas Simpson, just because you have 1.7 political capital, you can jump on for this uh, crazy ride and let's see where that goes. Minister for Public Services, so Sarah Wood, Lachlan White, who looks a shitload like Boris Johnson. And Bailey Lee. Okay, so... It is between you and Bailey Lee. Bailey Lee likes socialists and parents. And Sarah Wood likes the trade unionist environmentalists. Well, Sarah Wood was already in the cabinet, so let's hire Bailey Lee. I've only got two women in my cabinet. That's not great. Okay, whatever. Cool. Let's just go with that. So, the uncompetitive economy is no longer a thing. How is unemployment backed? Mm. Cool. Well, that's a good thing. A large multinational company has decided to build its regional headquarters here in our country. A favorable labor market, good education levels, a stable regime all contributed to the decision. Amazing. This will mean a boost for employment and our economy. Fantastic. And I'm 73% uh, so, internet crime. Internet censorship. I don't want to f censor the internet. Alright. So that will smash open our private space industry. Bring down all sorts of crime. And it will help also with our uh, employment, I guess. It's not actually that expensive. I mean, it's political capital that's expensive, but otherwise it's not really that expensive. Right, so there's an ongoing issue with uh, the unemployment again, which is very interesting. Um, yep, that's at the absolute maximum, so that's fine. Thought it was, but I figured I'd just click on it to check. Oh, yes. Now, that is one thing I need to, at some point, sort out, is the legal drug consumption. Medicinal cannabis. I want to bring it up to recreational cannabis, but then I want to gain some tax off it. Not a huge amount. A little bit. But at the same time, I will then implement something that allows that the people who purchase obviously government legal uh, cannabis will not have any, uh, you know, of the ill side effects that come from, you know, private growers putting, you know, whatever the bloody hell they basically want. Um, how do I reduce our illegal immigration? Because our border controls are through the, the biggest problem is our huge GDP compared to the rest of the world. That's the biggest problem that's causing our massive, uh, yeah. Okay, well, you know. Now, ah, oh, it's there. I was going to say, where the bloody hell did secularity of education go? It's right there. Now, science funding is right up there. State broadcaster. Yep. 
Let's, that's going to increase foreign relations. It's going to employ even more people. Yes. Absolutely. So, yeah, it seems unemployment is the situation we've now got to deal with in this next uh, turn of government. So maybe it is time to start, you know, with state this, state that, power company, water company, all of the things that we can, you know, uh, use within the government to employ people. And that will in turn make us money through tax, I guess. You know, that's the general aim. And then maybe we'll be able to reduce the tax rate again to... Uh, Oh, we have... My God! Why? GDP, that's why. How do I... Immigration rules. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just drop it to there. And if it pisses off the foreign relations, then I'll increase foreign aid slightly to balance that. Why is there a budget deficit now of 21.63 billion? Obesity, hey? Again. GDP, although the free school meals is going to help that. Car usage is back up through the... Wow, it's exploded. This is, this, this is the issue with having a huge GDP. An absolutely maxed out GDP is that... Uh, yeah. Bloody hell. It's a good GDP that we've got. Why am I unlocking that achievement? That's interesting. Anyway. Debt. One trillion. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. Okay. Uh, you. Yeah. Hmm. Vertical farm subsidies. And that'll drop the food price and traffic congestion back down, reduces unemployment. And a dropping in food price means that the healthy food becomes more affordable again and people are more likely to consume it. Yes, because otherwise obesity is going to continue to be an issue and that is uh, not something I want. So the only people who hate me now are the trade unionists. Cool. No. Yeah, whatever. It pisses off the youth. You know, she's quite clearly not a... Uh, role model yes I understand that there is a uh, issue with obesity I'm trying to now work on that it dropped massively for a while I've got free school meals that will come in take 16 turns of inertia so more than one term of government well sorry more than one yeah one term of government sorry but um yeah Oh, rare earth crisis. Shit. Uh, mm, okay. That's because we've spent so much on technology. Shit. How do you get the rare earth crisis under control again? Rare earth um, mining, which is not bad, which is, sorry, is bad for the environment. It's always good. Um... Okay. Whistleblower. 
So, a Secret Server contractor has leaked several documents that shed light on the dark side of the war on terror. Should we prosecute her and do everything we can to bring her to justice, or should we reform the Secret Service and stop making use of the malpractices she accuses? Reform the Secret Service. If there's corruption going on, I don't want corruption in my government. So, yeah. That's, 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 uh, that's where I stand on that. I do not want corruption within the government. So, um, all right. Economy, 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 agricultural subsidies. Is that going to bring down the food price as well? It's going to bring down employment. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Right. Let's put that in. How many political cap? That cost 15 political capital. Jesus Christ. Um, yes, robotic research grants, industrial automation, etc., etc. I don't want to necessarily smash out industrial automation because that's going to... So I'm just going to fund it at that. I know that sounds insane, um, but yeah, that's, you know. Hmm. Well, this is this is turned into a game of how quickly can you use your political capital? And the answer is very. Wow. Okay. That's not exactly what I wanted to read. Okay, so we're now having an issue with water shortages and uh, rare, we need to bring in like rare earth metal mining on our shores, which is going to, of course, piss off environmentalists. So... Ban women from... What the fu Anyway. <clears throat> Where is rare earth metal mining? Ah. Wow, 32 political capital. Shit. Okay. Um, cool. <sighs> An organic farming subsidy, will that help the water issue? Why is it 15 political capital for something like that? Yeah, I get the feeling that this economy is like, sorry, I get the feeling the debt, income and expenditure and deficit is going to get worse before it gets better because now we've created so many problems by employing everyone. <sighs> this will bring down obesity. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to max it. It's going to drop the food price again. It's going to bring down obesity. It's going to increase the health. It's going to increase people's income. Yeah. So this playthrough has almost gone from taking a centrist approach to taking, uh, making everyone wealthy approach, basically. So, there is still a lot of poor people. Well, those who are considered poor. When the poorest person in the country is making $81,000 a year and has nearly $40,000 
to throw around, you wouldn't exactly say that you're living in a poor society anymore. Oh. Original income, $562. Disposable income, 3100 Right. Why? What, what do you do? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right. I'm going to spend these five political capital and then we will finish the video for today. I think. So, let's just, whilst we're at it, let's just throw in another. Uh, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Another policy, another policy. Seeing as we appear to be the uh, government of policy. Actually, you know what? Let's not. Because I've got a few things that I need to, expensive things that I need to implement, like rare earth metal mining, increasing the, uh, State Water Company, which actually I'll do now with For Political Capital to help with the water industry shortage issues. Right. And, yeah. Anyway, guys, if, uh, if you did enjoy the video, please uh, like it, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Any feedback, constructive, you know, uh, Anything I can improve on, remove, add, change, you know, basically anything that comes to mind in relation to the videos, please let me know. I read all comments. I take them on board. I utilize them to make the videos better for you guys. And then it's a win-win situation. At least I'd like to think so. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Enjoy the rest of your days. Look after yourselves and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.